Okay. Well, hopefully you can hear me. Welcome back to another Brigandine LP. This is going to be Norgard. So this is going to be Norgard here, and so let's get started. I'm just going to do a little bit of an intro today. Uh, welcome to my channel, in case you uh, have not been here before. This is going to consist of a game called Brigandine, which a lot of people are familiar with. But um, it's a strategy game. It has all kinds of stuff associated with it, and um, it's a pretty cool game. It's like chess, but six hexagonal ways of playing the game, and uh, you know, it's got monsters, mythical things, knights, story. It's a pretty cool game. I like it. And so what I'm going to do here today is I'm just going to do a little bit of the intro, welcome you to the stream, and um, we'll play a little bit of the game. I'm not going to be doing these on Saturdays too much. I'm going to be pretty much doing these LPs on uh, Wednesdays and Fridays. So that's when I plan on doing it. But um, yeah, besides all that, let's get started here. Uh, hopefully everything sounds okay. Hopefully my voice, everything's okay because um, I had to try a, a new way to set this up. So a little nervous about the uh, performance to see if it's working well or not. Um, but let me get a few other things uh, popped in here. So um, everything's looking good. So, uh, oh, hey, Hakuna, how you doing? Glad to see you here. Really glad to see you here. So um, let me get some things up here. I usually put up a live chat here on, this, on the right side here. Just got to make sure that this works because uh, it's been getting a little finicky lately. So, okay, cool. Let me uh, push this around here and make sure that looks fine. Cool. I can see you. You can hear me. I can see you. Let's play the game. Let's get the, uh, let's get the sound on here. All right. All right, time to start up the game. That's cool. I'm glad to see you here. It's really nice to see you here. So uh, hopefully other people will pop in. Um, this won't typically be the day I'll be doing these LPs though. So just in case people were wondering, it's gonna be on it's going to be on Wednesdays and Fridays. Those will be the days I'll be LPing this Norgard LP here. So we don't do square because it's too easy. We don't do knight because we need a challenge. Go for king. We're going to do king mode. All right. Time to do Norgard. I've been waiting to do Norgard for quite a long time. We're going to take the reins of the white wolf and uh, lead them to victory. Hey Spider, how you doing? How's it going? Glad to see everybody jumping in here. I don't quite hear the sound yet. I thought I turned the sound on, but maybe I gotta turn it up on my end here. Here we go. Now I hear it better. Let me know if you think I should turn the sound up too. You know, just to make sure everything is, is nice and crisp and uh, you know, as good as possible. Even if war covers the world, even if all for Senna burns to ash, I will fight on. Fight on like a demon. I will rule it all. In the second month of year 215, Melmechia's General Zemeckis betrays his lord. King Hengus is killed in the night in the capital seized. Zemeckia's long history ends. The Ascaris Empire led by Zemeckis is born. In the wake of chaos, a time of strife begins and the heroes rise to seek their fate. At Flagru and Norgard. Is it true, Gwing? Zemeckis rebelled and destroyed Omekia. 
Yes, he's taken the title emperor and founded a new country. A utopia. Could what starts in treason end in such a noble state? Semechus must be desperate to choose this path. It can only end with him ruling as a tyrant or dying a traitor. The success of his utopia depends largely on us. If Norgard surrenders peacefully, his ambition may come to pass. Ha, <laughs> stop joking. I only gave up territory to Omeki to avoid fighting and buy time to rebuild. Norgard is strong again, and we have nothing to fear from Ascaras. They will soon regret giving me a year to rebuild. So we will advance. It's time to unite for Cena. As you wish. I, the Silver Knight, support you with all my strength. The first target is Juke's castle. We gave up Jukes to secure peace with Elmechia, but Elmechia is gone and Ascaris claims their territory. They cannot claim what was loaned to Elmechia. We will take it back. Jukes is not well defended, but... But what? Perhaps war with Ascaris cannot be avoided, but your sister Esmerie is there. Don't remind me. Sent as a hostage to Omechia, and now the wife of Zemeckis. If my sister chooses Zemeckis over me, I must fight her. Such things are unavoidable in a world at war. That's why I wish to, uni to unify for Cena in peace. Finer. Let's go, Gwingolin. Everyone is waiting. A year ago, King Eardwolf died in the Battle of Lydney. Since I became king, I've avoided battle as I rebuild Norgard's power. Now Amekia has fallen to a Zemeckis rebellion, and Ascar has spread its chaos further every day. The time is ripe, and I come to you with an oath. So swear I. To unify this continent, and in this terrible age of war, Knights of Norgard, will you now follow me to this future? Yes, my lord! I, your loyal servant, Palamedes, would jump through fire and water to follow you wherever you may choose to go! I am your weapon! Hmm, how predictable. What? Unlike you, his majesty is a very prudent man. Why on earth would he ever need to jump through any fire or water? Why you? <laughs> this is what you kept me waiting for? I guess the White Wolf is slow to get his act together. Ah, the lovely Princess Brangian, cheerful as ever. If my father, King Erdwolf, were here, Norgard would have would already rule for Cena without needing to hide in the shadows for a year. I must be incompetent. Or stop patronizing me. That the throne went to you just because I'm a woman. Unbearable. I take it you will not support me in the coming war. Did I say I wouldn't fight? Regardless of who is king, I am a knight of Norgard. I fight for Norgard without hesitation. Like a holy maiden, lighting the darkness, your presence will strengthen our hearts a hundredfold. Surely we shall deliver for Sina into your, fra into your fair hand. So it is. Norgard goes to war. Gwinglin, Yvain, Palmites, march on Juke's castle. Yes, sir. The rest of you get ready. It's time to show the world Norgard's power. We have taken Juke's castle. The enemy fled without a fight, so we took no casualties. Hmm, withdrew without a fight. A smart choice, I'll bet a cowardly one. Okay, we did all the dialogue so far. Let's um, check out what we got to do. Uh, one thing I will be doing is I'm going to be doing a challenge or I'm going to try to basically do uh, Alti Alteria. She gave a challenge to Vakos some time ago, and um, it's a, quite a difficult challenge. I don't know if it's possible in Grand Edition. I've got my own skeptical reasoning for the possibility of it working, but it could work. So 
What I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to try to get as much experience as possible for a single night kill. So it's probably going to be like a Geno Frost, a Geno Flame, Holy Word, Meteor Doom. I don't know what it's going to be, but it's going to be something grand. I'm going to try to, you know, make sure it can give that one particular night as much experience as possible to see if we can get at least 5,000 um, experience in one in one hit from one night. Um, if we can get up to 7,000, that'd be great. But we'll see. We'll see. So that's the challenge I'm going to take. You know, if uh, you want to help me out while I'm playing and, you know, uh, help me decide classes people should be and things like that, that'd be awesome. You know, you can help out with that, naming monsters and all that stuff. Um, but this will be my last LP for Norgard for, um, for the normal um, LPs I'll be doing for Grand Edition. So this will be the last one for some time. So I decided to take the craziest and most difficult challenge possible and... Uh, <laughs> Let's have some fun. So, I have to organize here. Oh yeah, I know. Brand Brangian should have gotten a normal class spire, I, or like a unique class. I, I do agree with that because she is a very unique character. And um, I mean, that would have made some sense. I mean, Iria did, but although Iria is a, a pawn of Bullnoil for some parts of the game where he tries to control her, and um, then she breaks free of his control. So she is special in that sense. So I see how she's special. Dinadan, yeah, he's, well, I mean, he's the only blade master in the game. So Brangian, yeah. You know, I almost wish that every country would have had like a special character aside from the leader, you know? Because it's only really just the two countries that actually have a Kirlian and a Scallion. But I digress. Let's, uh, let's move on here. So that team looks okay. Uh, this team at Jukes, I do want to come down and fight here. So I'm just going to do like one battle for this. Just This is just going to be kind of like an intro. I might do two battles. Depends on you know, how much you rage at me to do more battles. But um, <laughs> I'm going to at least get one battle done for today. And um, we're going to be definitely going down to Lydney because it's my first thing I usually do. I love to just go and attack Lydney immediately. As crazy as that is, I, I do it. Um, I'm gonna check out what we got over here. Hector, hmm. I might be going after Neomechia to start. I could go after Leoness, but Neomechia might be a quicker a quicker thing to knock out for me. So I might put Vinard over here and take Hector with me. So I think I'll do that. And take out that little bit there. Let's put you over here, Brangian. And I gotta be very careful when I summon because I don't only have so much stuff, you know? Um, I might be able to take this down. I might be able to. How's it going, Vekos? How you doing? You at the convention still? I don't know. I thought you were going to a convention today, so I decided to start a little bit early on my uh, LP just to kind of introduce this. So I'll probably do a few battles. It's not going to be too long today, but I just want to do an introduction for this. And um, so that sort of thing. Um, you know what? Since I'm going there immediately, and I've already got stuff here, let's get everything set here first so that this is as powerful as possible. And i got to make sure i got everything equipped right because... Some characters don't need certain things as badly as others do. Um, I gotta check out. I gotta see where all my stuff is. So I've got a good idea. Oh, you got home? Okay. Yeah, it'd be cool to see if you talk to Chuck Norris. That's that's a character I wanted to talk to if I got to meet somebody. Uh, I know there's the Vegeta guy there that does the Vegeta voice for um, Dragon Ball Z, but Chuck Norris. I watched a lot of Bruce Lee videos and 
You know, I've, yeah, I've even seen uh, Walker, Texas Ranger somewhat when I was younger too. Um, so I like Chuck Norris. Okay, so you already have, you already got an icicle claw. That's good. Okay, so I got a good amount of flying stuff here. I got a couple land creatures here, and then this one here too. So we're gonna need flight or or water. Let's see if I can organize this in a, in a good fashion where I only got like one basic, I don't care about the wolf, but one basic land creature on each side. Let's see, can we do that? Yes, we can. 60, 55, let's stack that up that direction. And then there's that one there. We'll put the, put the walkers in the front. I don't, that dog isn't ever, well, dog could get there, man. Let's put the dog up there. Uh, let's see what to do with you. Oh, so close. Uh, should I do that? Uh, it doesn't work. Why did I think that would work? I don't know why. Um, I guess I gotta do that. Unfortunately. Guess I can do this. Does that work? Kind of, but it doesn't help me much. Alright, so I've got... We'll see, we'll see. 30 and 110, so 140. So, didn't get a chance to meet Norris. Oh, you got to meet Kevin Sorbo. That's cool. So you got to meet Hercules. What did he say? What, what did you get to say to the guy? Maybe Gwingulin, I don't know. I guess that could be... You know, there's a lot of interesting knights for Norgard. Um, Paul Mighty's. Uh, Gwingulin, Brangian. There's a lot of interesting knights there. So, eh, maybe, maybe that's the case. But I think Brangian. Um, I mean, because they already have, they already changed to uh, the Blade Master, you know, for Dinadan. So he gets the bolt attack. So they already did that for the Paladin class, because Dinadan's technically a Paladin class with a bolt spell, you know, and some extra agility. So he's kind of better. But, you know, with Gwingulin doing the same thing for him, he's not a, he's not the the best Blade Master, you know, the Knight Master of the Continent. So I guess I can't do it for him, but I think Brangian, they could have done something for her because they don't have, like, a super special Archer class. You know, they've got the Lan they've got the Lancer class, you know, done up. They've got the uh, the Paladin class done up. So maybe the Archer for them. Neomechia. I don't know what you could do for Neomechia. I'm not sure. For Leonia, that'd be interesting if there was something there. For Leonia, I don't know. But um, I'm getting carried away. Let's let's summon some stuff here. Okay, so we can't do that. It's 140. That'd be 110, 10. Be that I could get two Griffins and a Lizard Man, which could work. That'd be 110, 140, 30. No, that only give me 30 points left. So I could do, uh, let's do this one at a time so I can kind of get get a hang of this because it's going to be interesting here. Get another one of those. Let's get another lizard guard. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah, I'd imagine he's a good guy, actually. Just from uh, seeing some other videos of some other Comic Cons and things like that. I, I could see him being like, you know, a kind of good character in a sense. Oh, I thought that would work. Like 35 with 70. Oh, no, no, no. That won't work that way. Why did I think that would work? A 
that does not work that way. So what is that? 60, 60, and 75. Let's get that dragon. Just get a bunch more lizard guards. Actually, I think get a bunch more lizard guards. I'll try to surround them. Griffins or lizard guards? I'm not sure what to do. I think I'll just go. I think I'll just go lizard guards here. You know. Um. Sure. Yeah. I guess that's what's gonna have to work. All right. You can keep the sword. I almost want to change you into a wizard. Because he's good enough with intelligence, he could be a decent wizard. Okay, so... What is that? 253? I get a Geno Flame and a Flame out of it. Or a bunch more healing power, you know? Ah, uh, yeah, maybe the maybe the, the Necromancer class or Moholt or some some kind of crazy thing. You know, maybe he's got maybe he gets some other kind of skill. Um I don't know. I think I want to make Wingulin like a powerful mage here. I don't know if that's going to be a good idea though. This is a crazy idea in some ways. This could work out well though. You know? Could work out well. I will get I will get a more healing spells out of this if I want to do that instead. We're going to do it. Nobody really thinks about this and Sometimes I always worry about this kind of thing, but uh, let's give it a shot. Now you can get a sword too, so you're a little better. All right, I got everything I wanted there. Let's check out Humber. Uh, I'm gonna go on assault here. This doesn't seem like such a bad idea. 45, 40. Let's do let's 40 points there. That's almost 40. All right, so I need 75, 80, 25, 25, and 80 is 105. So I need 105 here. What can we get? Uh, as much as that'd be interesting, I don't. I'm not swimming here, so. Uh, let's do 70, three dogs maybe? I think three dogs can handle it, right? Oh, I don't have anything left. Let's get a scorpion. So how's everybody doing today? We don't have a lot to do here, but, um, you know. Dillard, dude, what could we make you here? Let's see here, class. What are we going to do with Dillard? So I'm going to use him into this, you know, at his fullest. So he has to go through the grappler class to get the next class, obviously. But I could put him through the barbarian class for a bit and get him healing abilities, you know? Hmm... Oh, Cole? Yeah, it'd be cool if he had some other stuff, like he had like a myriad of other abilities, you know? Mm. What do we get out of this? Hit and run, counter damage? So I already get the counter damage from the grappler class, apparently. 
Yeah, I could go Barbarian right away. Sure. Okay. Alright, we're all set. Let's do a battle here. Let's see what happens. Let's uh, make sure I got everything set okay. So it's not all wonky. I wouldn't mind if they attacked me, actually. I'd be okay if they came to uh, attack any of my castles. They won't really for the first turn, you know. That's kind of how it goes, but, you know. Just got to start setting up here, so... All right. All right, let's see what's big and juicy here. I don't know. Ooh, this is going to be tough. It's going to be very, very tough. Just to start a whole bunch of aquatic water creatures and stuff. Plus this guy here, too. Oh, man. Oh, man. Let's see if we can beat it. Yeah, let's see what you got here, Queenie. Oh, my gosh. This is going to be a lot harder than I thought. <laughs> They've just threw betterness over here. I probably shouldn't have ordered anything. I don't know if I can beat this one, but... It depends. They don't have a lot. They really don't. They've got a good amount of healing power, but let's see. Um, I do have some healing potential. Uh, this could be a good battle to level in. This would be a straightforward battle. I'd say we're pretty much evenly matched. They might even be a little better than me. So I think in both instances, they're kind of better than me in a way. I guess we'll find out, won't we? All right, got to save the game just to make sure I got it all saved up. You know? All right, slot one. Um, don't need that. Well, actually, we'll just go over the first one here. Just start it up here. Yeah, that'd be cool. Would be cool. Let's see what happens first. All right, we're going to Damas right off the bat. Right off the bat. All right, Petronas. They got a lot of healing. So I gotta kill something quick. That's kind of the plan, you know? I almost wish I didn't or order anything. They might not have changed their army composition here. You know? But oh well. We'll see what happens. I think this is this is this might be a first time I ever attacked uh, Leonia right off the bat. I can't remember the last time I ever did something like this. But I mean, you know, got to show everybody the power of Norgard, so I got to go and do it. I just got to. That's the Norgard. I will show you the Norgard way. You know, like, you know what they say, when in Rome. So it's the same thing here, when in Norgard. I, you know, I, I wish I could, you know, at some point I'll probably level up teeth. I might do it in the next uh, LOF series. I might level up teeth there. Just see how powerful he is. I think I might do that. Now what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to put something out there to attract them to me. To get them up here, because otherwise they won't get here in time. Or to my standards, you know. Oh yeah, Victoria? She's great, believe it or not. Not a lot of people want to use Victoria because of the low rune power, but she's got an amazing amount of MP, she's got great intelligence, and, you know, it just depends on where you stick her, on what kind of team you put her on. You know, if you put her on a very weak team with low rune power, well, you're gonna have some problems, probably. But if you know what you're doing and you put her in a good team, she is really good. She's actually very good. Uh, no qualms about using Victoria, actually. 
just depends on what I'm fighting, you know. Depends on how I feel and what's, you know, what I think's coming at me. You know, that's kind of where I decide, you know, who's going where. Um, for me, it's kind of between for the for the. Usually, I have Iria on either the offense or defensive team. She's, she's always being used, but for any other composition, it's either uh, Lucia or Victoria. You know, trying to figure out where they go, and I like to either, you know, put them on a team with um, a lot of strong defense, um, you know, stuff like that. So, let's see, what am I gonna put out there though? I might level that thing up. We have to be very careful with our hell dogs. Very, very careful. I can't get holy worded like crazy here. That's gonna be crazy. Goms can be good. They're not always good all the time. Not everybody wants to have them. But um, I like to use a variety of things I have and see how I can utilize it to its maximum potential. So, I don't, like, in the past when I was playing a game, there were times where I would just delete things and just buy things I've wanted all the time. But now I'm starting to think, you know, I just want to use what I've got and see what happens. You know, see how that's going to play out. And so that's kind of what I've been doing. And it's kind of fun, actually. Let's get you situated right here. Um, to go there. I might put Dillard right here. I don't know. We'll see. Let's see what the distance is here with that thing. I need to figure that one out. Not too far. Yeah, it's okay right there. Yeah, you guys are good. Yeah, we'll figure this out here. It's going to do... Is that going to be fine? Yeah, that could be fine. Let's get one on the road. Let's get one scorpion. Uh -huh. Right about there. You know what? Uh, I'm going to see if I can play a trapping move here. That might work. Where are you going to go, Mr. Gom? I don't really have a place for you. Maybe you'll come over to this side. I think I'll put this healer here put you right about there so I can cover all my bases all right good we are fairly well set yeah I think we're fairly well set I think this is probably gonna be good okay that's not a bad move Sometimes I like golems more than giants too, um, and I think the fact is they're almost kind of the same thing. Just golems are like 15 bucks cheaper, um, or rune, or I mean, uh, mana power or mana mana cost cheaper. That's what I meant to say. I'm used to saying bucks a lot, so you'll have to forgive that, I guess. Let's do this. All right, so what's going out here that's going to tempt everything? Um, let's pop you right here. I don't really want to do that, though. How far can you go? Let's get to right about here. And then hopefully... Okay, let's do it like that. Let's do it just like that. Alright, hopefully this will be good enough to get things on the ball. Alright. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I needed that. Please take some purple candy from me. Thank you! <laughs> yes! fine. 
I could have Noya heal that up in case anything gets um, out of hand. Uh, okay. I, I could lose the dog, actually. Hope not. Hope not. Oh, man. Don't. Don't you dare. Oh, my gosh. Okay, at least the scorpions can't... Oh, I hope that centaur can't go all the way. Good, good, good. I get to keep, I get to keep the dog for one second more. Oh, that's good. Whew. All right. We got to guarantee this stuff here, folks. Kind of have to. Um, but you know what? Let's see what we can start off first. Geno Flame, I'm getting an Angel, getting these these guys. That's pretty good. I would love to extra blast this thing to dust, but um, plus I'm going to need something else to go right about here, actually. Where can this guy go? That's the key. Oh, well, you know what? You're going to replace. You're going to replace this spot here. We're going to get rid of this thing. So... Ding! Blacked it. Check that out. I blacked it. All right, so let's do. I'm gonna try to get Diller to kill with this. I hope I can. I guess we'll see. You know. Let's do it like that. So what's going on in the chat here? Golems and Hydra shine and defense rolls. I would say, yeah, Hydras are great defensively. Um, they can be offensively, too. It depends on how you use them. Uh, if you have a Volner Wings, obviously use that to your advantage. That will come out. That will help you very, very much so. Okay, I just need a little, little tap. A little tap of some kind. Little tap tap taparoo. <laughs> yeah, hydras can be uh, a whole new, you know, whole new thing. But uh, oh, geez, divine ray could hurt me like crazy too. Well, I do have, I do have a hellfire. Could weaken it up, get rid of that, and I can curse him out of the way. So. Uh, by the time I go, 12, 10, yeah, I'll get rid of the whole thing. So that should be fine. I just have to heal up you, Mr. Lizard Man. Everything else should be pretty much okay. There's only one Divine Ray on my one um, uh, Lizard Man there, and I'm not, I'm not too worried about that. Uh, let's end that turn. Okay, starting up, I'm gonna have to sacrifice you, dude, but you are going for a good cause. I guarantee you that. It's a good cause. A very good cause. Alright, let's start up with our extra. Oh, Jesus, 85. I think I could do it a regular attack, and I, I, I want to guarantee I get this gone, because it's the first battle. I want to make sure I got this one. So, I could have went for the better one, but, you know, he's still, he's still kind of a baby at the moment. I want to make sure I'm doing this right. The hell dog could take it out, potentially. Maybe the hell dog could take it out. And I could get the dragon down in a better position right about here. I could breath attack patternets, or I could just breath attack this thing too. Huh. Well, the hell dog does have a good chance of killing it, I would say. Let's try that out. Oh! Oh! Oh, man. Yikes. Alright, you go back. Uh, I gotta get the scorpion here. The scorpion can eat. definitely... I think the scorpion can get a kill. Let's hope, let's hope for that. Here we go. Where to go with you? You know what? I think you're gonna stay there. This dog's gonna die. You're gonna need defense for this imp. 
And the scorpion could die too, but I don't know, we'll see here. I don't want to breath attack my own dude. Not really into that. Not at this moment. Mm, no, not at this moment. Ah. Okay, who can we heal that needs it? Let's get you out about... Are you okay? Yeah, you're kind of okay. Let's put you out here. You're going to be a big pile. A big pile to block them. Um, I'm going to harden up... Uh, I don't know. I think two Divine Rays is going to be over way too much for him to handle. Um, I think we'll harden up the Scorpion for now. They could shoot me again. I could get Holy Worded too. Uh, I do have two healers for that, actually. Let's just do that. Let's harden up the Scorpion. Hey, Jordan, how you doing? Glad to see you here. It's been quite some time. Um, I will be doing live streams of this Wednesday nights and Friday nights. So uh, that's when you're going to see most of this kind of stuff. But this is just a showcase that we're here. We are here for today and we are alive. Doing some nice Burgundine play gameplay here. So I just hardened him up. I could heal him. Probably want to heal Screech and I want to heal up uh, my leader. My leader dude. They could get they could get Kirkman a little bit more. A couple other archer shots. Holy word. I gotta be wary of that. Well, if this wasn't obvious. Can we get some purple candies going? Can we get some purple candies? Oh man, no purple candies. Oh well. Gonna start up with your infamous holy word. Holy word! <laughs> okay, I'll take it. Kinda knew that was coming. Can we survive? Well, there goes the dog. <laughs> something, something, he just hates Hydra's old man, Kuna. Needs something to hate. Maybe you do. I think sometimes everybody needs needs something to be uh, upset about. You know, that sort of stuff does happen. And this is worthless. I can't even poison this thing. That was a good job for you there. We're going to play the healing game with them, apparently. Oh, man, I'm poisoned too. Oh, my dragon's in dire needs. He's in dire straits. Okay. <laughs> bye bye, lizard man. It was nice knowing you. Oh no, not gonna kill him? Alright, I'll keep him. Thank you. <laughs> reposition him for a nice heal. I, I can't survive up there with that little bit of hit points. Gotta heal up somebody that's worth it right now. Let's see what we're gonna do. Well, there's no more holy words from you, so you're done. You are done! Let's heal you up. And yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, 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 yep. yep. All right, little flower ghoul. I'm sorry, I can't use you at the moment. I, I don't see any opportunities. I don't think I, unless I could jump out and kill this thing, but I'm opening up my space. Uh, kind of, sort of. No, maybe not. I might be able to do it. I'm lining up for a divine ray, though. Hmm. Uh, I could reposition some things, maybe. 
maybe he'll get a kill off this. We'll, uh, let's try this out. I'm a little worried, but... I could probably throw a hardened spell on him, but I don't know how it's going to help with the Divine Ray coming to him, probably. Okay, now we can do something with the ghoul. There we go. Alright, can I do anything else? Well, nothing I really want to do. I don't see anything I'm really excited to do. Man, you should probably just stay there at the moment. Uh, nothing I can kill. I might be able to kill the centaur. And I can reposition the golem down there, and he'll be kind of okay at that point. Eh, let's try it. They don't have a lot here. Let's go for it. All offense, all damage. They're not going to just stick around with just their leaders. They're going to get beat up pretty hard. If they do try that. Alright, so you, you, and you. What are you all going to do? Let's see here. We could do a nice little breath attack down here. Possibly. Might be able to get this kill here. Hmm. Or go of this direction. You need to heal badly. Yikes. Well, it is a red. This one's a green. This could weaken up their front line. Let's go this direction here. Reposition the scorpion over there. Or pull him back to maybe just do some basic defense there. That way, um, I could probably try an attack on you here. And see if I can get out of the way. I don't think I can. This oh, I'm kind of screwed up here if I do that. But I might be able to get away from the attack here, maybe. 87's not too bad. Gonna take some damage. Let's pull back. We might have to sacrifice a scorpion for a kill of Dillard. Could do that. Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Scorpion, but I'm gonna level up Dillard. It's one of the few times I'm gonna probably be doing something like this. And they got a miss! Oh, nice! Alright, Dillard. Let's take this thing down. With a nice crit. Yes. Alright, where should I go? Should I stay? Should I go? I have to cut off my uh, little uh, scorpion there. I'm going to have to probably be right about here. Okay, we got some protect spells. We need to pop. Uh, which one do I want to keep? Probably the Wyvern. You know? I really want to keep the Scorpion, but there's so many things right now that are really low. Let's see, I could get rid of one of their Scorpions. I probably should kill something fast. So... I think that'd be a good thing for me to do. Let's get rid of more stuff. The faster I kill their army off, the faster they might go. We'll figure it out. They didn't have a big army to start, but I want to try to kill everything possible. Just to make them go away. Alright, so you need a heal, but you also do. You can get Divine Raid again. You need another big heal here. And something over here needs a heal. Possibly my Scorpion if I could heal it up. But Dillard is also kind of low. Not too low, not too bad. Let's try to save the scorpions. Save the scorpion fun. See if it's possible. <laughs> we'll find out. I don't know, but it might not be possible. Just might not be. But I could create a distraction with you. Maybe. Maybe, 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 maybe. 
Boom, boom. Yes, and a crit. Thank you. Take that. All right, what you gonna do, huh? What you gonna do? What you got left? Yeah, yeah. Get out of here. Get out of here, Patterns. Nope. Yep. Well, this worked out great. This worked out really good. Oh, yeah. Got in there right away. Before we even had possible peace talks with Leoness. <laughs> Literally after. <laughs> so glad that worked out the way it was. If I didn't take anything else, they might not have put Patternus there. It might have been an easier battle, but this worked out pretty good. So... Yeah, well, he's awesome. I mean, Patternus is awesome with his mace. He has a blue dot and a gravity mace. He, he is a dragon killer. And in the original one, which I'll be going back to after this one, I mean, the, the blue on the red, and even here, I mean, he just, just outright just kills dragons. You can just go whack him with that rod, and, you know, they, they can't stack up to him. He'll kill dragons left and right. He's basically kind of like their special character, you know? <laughs> yeah, they're going to be a little more awkward. <laughs> I'm sorry, Leoness, but I know what's coming as far as the cutscenes are concerned. So I'm just gonna do what I gotta do, you know? You fight against a Silver Knight, I will not lose. Technically Pyromaster now. Pyromaster, because I just change him. Oh man, this is gonna be a really, this is going to be a tough, tough fight. A very tough fight. So gonna be a very tough fight so basically yeah today was just kind of a showcasing of what's to come you know if you want to check out more of the gameplay for the LP you can tune in for Wednesday I'm going to have to sign out here though fortunately I know Valkus might be streaming later on so he might be on because he already just said he was uh, he got back so if he does stream today then you'll see him later on tonight but um, for my live streams for this, you can catch me on Wednesday nights, Friday nights, and Sunday nights we'll be doing the multiplayer. So the multiplayer consists of myself, Raging Paul, and Frost PDP. We'll be there for all the uh, Carolyn co-op that we've been doing. It's part of a, a uh, what I call a second scenario tier, and um, it includes uh, Dinadan, Kai, and Lance being on the same team and taking over the whole world. So that's on Sundays, um, but everything else is Wednesdays and Fridays. And I will be doing it probably about like an hour earlier. So it's going to be about like 7 my time, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for everybody else on those nights. And so, yeah, that's what's going to come up and that's what's going to happen. So, um, yeah, I just figured I'd give my little spiel there. And, uh, and with a little bit of conversation for everybody else that's still in the stream, uh, see what everybody else is saying here. Let me pull this up for a second here so I can see what you guys are saying. What you guys and gals are saying. So, yeah, it's always fun to do these streams. He is a dragon slayer. Patternus is a dragon slayer. He's the best dragon slayer in the whole continent. I would. I would imagine. I mean, I bet Vinard could probably outdo him a little bit. But geez, I mean, for a bishop, for a bishop to be able to just take out dragons like he does, you know, it's crazy. It's just crazy. You know, because you think he's not going to be able to do that much. But you give him a blue dot, and oh my gosh, his, that and the, the gravity mace, it's just, it's insane. And I'm going to try to always get my uh, Scorpion. I'm going to see if I can get a level 30 Scorpion in this um, LP here, too. We're going to try. We're going to push it. So, yeah, Jordan, we're going to go for a, a very high Scorpion. A level 30 Death Needle could beat a level 1 Dragon, possibly. I would think it can. It has double red. 
you know, so it's really not affected by the dragon that much. And it's got great defense. Um, I don't know, the Grand Edition, uh, probably can. I know in the regular one, I could definitely do it because in the regular uh, LOF version, um, you know, your, your defense isn't capped. So your defense just keeps going and going and then you can throw an extra protect spell on something and its defense is insanely high, you know, way higher than you can get in the Grand Edition here. But, um, yeah. So, yeah, if anybody else has anything else you want to say before I, I shut this down, go ahead and uh, let me know. Um, yeah, I just figured I'd showcase this. It's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to get through this. I'm going to do a very, very difficult challenge, you know, that I have listed down below. Um, and hopefully we can see what we can get. I don't even know how high, how much experience I can get out of a single attack. Um, I know I got a lot once before. Um, a, 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 one, one time it was with the queen. I did a holy word with the queen and I got a huge amount of experience. It was pretty big. And um, I can't really remember off the top of my head right now what it was, but it was a big amount. And um, yeah, so also I do have a, um, a little icon on the top right. There's a little bubble that you can pick. It has an eye in it. It's on the top right, and uh, you can vote for the next LP. So if you want to go up the top right and click on the little button, that'll just automatically appear. You can vote for my next LP. That will be for the um, Legend of Forcina. So I'll be going back to the original. It's been some time since I've been there. But um, after this, I'm going back to the original. So, um, yeah, this will do it. This will complete all of the Grand Edition LPs for um, for my channel here. For all the regular LPs. Um, so Norgard will finish it. And um, then we'll go back to the Legend of Forcina and do some old stuff. I'll go back to the old ways and uh, have fun with that. But, um, yeah, thanks everybody for being here. Um, Hopefully you enjoyed, and um, yeah, just subscribe for more if uh, you want to see some more of this stuff. And um, that's all. Else. <laughs> that's the only thing I have left to say. So have a good night, and um, I'll see everybody else later. Take care.